All right, people. It is time for some more of my finest content. A tier list. Once again, as I've said before, if you were to put all my content on a tier list, the tier lists would be at the top of the tier list. And today, we're going to talk about a very important topic. Serious stuff today, people. Something that's near and dear to my heart. And that topic is soft drinks. I get a lot of opinions about soft drinks. And i uh, got to say, I'm disgusted by all of you. We were talking about soft drinks earlier today. I was disgusted i was enraged i was disappointed you people have horrible opinions on soft drinks and today i'm going to set those opinions straight and really quickly i also wanted to mention my patreon if you like what i do on youtube and everywhere else joining my patreon really helps me do this full time and worry less about videos getting demonetized by youtube or copyright claimed by labels patrons get all my podcasts and main channel videos early there are members only channels in my discord that i'm super active in i also do giveaways for example i've been giving away a lot of emos not dead merch and you can also have me review your music artwork or anything else all you need to do is join my patreon at the ten dollar level and then every month i do a call for submissions if you want me to review something just drop it in the comments of that post and then i will review it live on twitch so if any of that sounds cool to you hit the link in the description of this video and i appreciate your support i'll tell you where we're gonna start okay tell you where we're gonna start let's talk about pepsi where does pepsi belong on the tier list well i've said this before and i'll say it again you know when i think about pepsi I just think about that guy, you know, that's always, he's, he probably wears Reebok. He plays Xbox. He uses a Windows PC. He has an Android phone. You know, that guy, you're like, well, there's nothing. I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with an Android. It's just kind of crappy. Xbox is fine, but I mean, you, you, nobody would pick an Xbox over a PlayStation if they had a choice, right? And, you know, Windows PC, like, I mean, I have a Windows PC, but I also have a MacBook, and I would always rather use my MacBook if I could. I feel like Pepsi is kind of, it's the soft drink version of that. You know, it's just sort of, it's the poster child for second place. But I gotta say, the people who say that Pepsi and Coke taste the same are insane, out of their mind. If you think that Pepsi and Coke taste the same, you should have your head examined because you could not be more wrong. They definitely don't taste the same. But I do like Pepsi. I think it's good. I just don't think it's as good as Coke. You know, it's got a little bit of a lighter flavor, a little bit sweeter. I like Pepsi. It's just not on the same level as Coke. It's definitely a lot better than some of the atrocious abominations we're going to look at later. So I'm going to put Pepsi on the A tier. That's where I would put it. RC Cola. Okay, we can talk about RC Cola. RC Cola, which stands for Royal Crown Cola, makes me think about... There's a place that I used to go to in Columbus, Ohio, called the North Star Cafe. And it was sort of like in the hipster part of town in the short north. I don't know if it's still there. RC Cola is basically like knockoff Coke or Pepsi. And you go to the North Star Cafe, one of these places where everything is like, they have a lot of vegan options. You know, they don't have regular fries. They have sweet potato fries and they don't have uh, mayonnaise. They have aioli. Like everything's a little bit off. You're like, okay, I'll take the, uh, the burger with the sweet potato fries and uh, a diet Coke. And they're like, oh, we don't, we don't have diet Coke. Uh, we have RC Cola. Is that okay? And I'm like, oh, fuck. Why can't you just have fucking Coke or at least Pepsi? Like a fucking normal goddamn restaurant. If you want to have sweet potato fries on the menu, fine. But at least give me the option of regular fries. Don't have fucking sweet potato fries and RC Cola, the only goddamn things on the menu. We drink RC on fishing trips when I was a kid. That's exactly what it is. Yes, it's the kind of shit you would get on a fishing trip with your dad at some like weird ass gas station you know, that's like on the edge of like the the reservation or something like that. And you're like, I mean, I guess it's it could be worse, but ugh, why dad, why does this taste weird? Why don't they have Coke? And like, son, I'm sorry. We're just we're roughing it this weekend. There's no Coke. There's only RC. Let's talk about Dr. Pepper also. Dr. Pepper reminds me of that kid. We all had this friend, I think, when we were a kid. Back in my day, because I'm old, we're talking about Nintendo, like NES games, but it, it could also be like N64 or GameCube or whatever. You ever have that one friend that you go over to their house and all their video games were sticky because they had like, they spilled shit on them and like, then they just threw them on the floor. So like, 
all their video games were covered in this like disgusting combination of like sticky syrup and like lint they are like hey do you have golden eye you're like oh yeah uh here and you're like ugh, ugh. and you want to like boil the cartridge for you know what i mean I, I feel like dr pepper is the shit that that kid would drink if pepsi is for the guy that plays xbox and has an android phone dr pepper is for the guy that uh has like an atari jaguar or like sega saturn or you know just the real like poverty console and he thinks it's great like oh you got you want to come over and play atari jaguar you're like uh <laughs> no i definitely don't want to come over and play atari jaguar and i don't want your fucking nasty ass dr pepper either it's the soft drink equivalent of fucking jack in the box it's like for actual crackheads Ugh. now of course you might be asking yourself what goes on the s tier what goes on the s tier well it's obvious everybody knows it it's coca-cola it's number one for a reason let me tell you let me tell you what I like, people. I like winners. I don't like fucking losers. I like winners. I like the New York Giants. I like Khabib Nurmagomedov. I like George St. Pierre. I like Amazon. I like Starbucks. I like winners. I don't like fucking losers. And nothing tastes better than Fountain Coke. Incredible. Dr. Pepper is a Coke product. Don't split hairs with me, motherfucker. How dare you? Never challenge me again. Exactly. This man roots for the casino. I'm happy to give the casino my money. I say here, I, I tip the casino, not the dealer. I tip the casino an extra $100. I tip my landlord every month. Whatever's left over after I'm tipped the casino, I give it to my landlord. Coca-Cola, it's the winning team. There's a reason for that because it's great. Fountain Coke, nothing better. Also Coke in a can excellent as well we got to talk about mountain dew i gotta go faster through these because i got a lot to say about all this you know i used to think that mountain dew was only for like tweakers and it, it definitely is like back in the day i don't know what but there's like something literally about like meth and mountain dew that would go hand in hand and it's not good but now i'm sort of on board with mountain dew because it's sort of been retconned as like the aggro 2000s like new metal kid with like spiky hair um, you know, and the, and the ball chain necklace that listens to fucking, uh, crazy town, your friend Cody from across the street that has all the best video games and calls his mom a bitch to her face. He's like, Oh God, Susan, you're such a stupid bitch. I hate you. Get out of my way. We're playing ATV off-road fury Two. get the fuck out of my room and bring me some more pizza rolls. You stupid bitch. She's like, Oh, Cody, don't talk to me that way. I'll be right back with some pizza rolls. So I, I feel like um, I like it for that reason. I like the energy. Would I choose to drink Mountain Dew? No, but I'm on board with the energy. So we'll put it on on uh, on the B tier. How about this? Um, we're going to talk about bottled water. If you think that all bottled waters are the same, you are also high. You're absolutely out of your mind. There is one bottled water that stands above all the rest. And that is uh, Fiji. It literally is from Fiji, by the way, which is insane and crazy and definitely shouldn't exist. Like the fact that we ship water across the fucking planet. Fiji is a tiny ass island in the South Pacific. The fact that they put water on a fucking ship and ship it to a gas station in Ohio is insane. But I got to say, it really is the best. It's amazing. It's great. If I ever have the choice of my bottled water, I'll take it. You know what's bad? Arrowhead spring water. But shit's fucking nasty. Like, I feel like no matter, yeah, Dasani is horrible too, but Arrowhead is the worst. I feel like even if you get Arrowhead, like, you know, just out of the fridge, like ice cold arrowhead water still tastes like it's been sitting out in the sun for like a day and a half, you know, just has that. Ugh. I would rather drink water out of the hose than, um, than drink fucking arrowhead. Cause like, I kind of like the taste of hose water. You guys ever drink out of a hose? Do people still do that? I kind of liked the taste of hose water when I was a kid. If I'm being honest, I liked it. Give me that hose water arrowhead springs water disgusting it's awful on the same level as dr pepper disgusting it's an abomination okay monster let's talk about monster i got a lot to say about monster energy and uh one thing that's interesting it's been rebranded now as this sort of like aesthetic drink 
right? Like, I don't know if that was on purpose or if they just naturally did it, but it's been rebranded as sort of this like edgy anime alternative kind of thing. And I, I mean, I guess, you know, they did sponsor metal bands and stuff back in the day. It's kind of interesting. I always thought of it as like a bro drink. You know, like the sort of motocross bro or like, you know, lifted F-150 bro kind of drink. And I used to drink a lot of the blue monsters back in the day because I don't drink anything with sugar in them. But uh, I used to drink a lot of the blue monsters and I switched to Rockstar. I switched to the white Rockstar. Andrew Wade um, got me into uh, the blue Rockstar. Or sorry, the white Rockstar. He converted me. And then I went back. I tried the blue monster again after not having one for years. And I was like, oh my God, this is fucking vile. Like, it's vile. I don't know what it is. There's some like disgusting flavor that they have in Monster. Uh, now, would I rather drink disgusting rancid Monster or Arrowhead Springs? Well, I would rather drink Monster than Arrowhead water. So I'm going to put it on the C tier. As far as energy drinks go, also uh, Red Bull, I got to say, it's underrated. Red Bull is damn good. I didn't like it at first. I didn't have one until maybe like, I don't know, 2003 or something like that. Somebody was like, oh, do you want a Red Bull? I was like, I, I don't know. I've never had one. What does it taste like? And he said, it tastes like liquid sweet tarts. And I was like, that doesn't sound good. But I tried it and it was great. And uh, I got to say, sugar-free Red Bull, the second best energy drink. Uh, number one best energy drink, in my opinion, the goat energy drink in my opinion, is this one, the white sugar-free rock star, silver ice flavor. It's great. I love it. I don't drink this stuff anymore because I stopped drinking energy drinks a couple years ago, but they're great. I'll tell you what I used to like back when I was still doing drugs. If I'd wake up like hungover or maybe I only slept three hours or something like that, you feel like shit. You're like, oh God, I feel like I'm fucking on death's door. But uh, in about, I don't know, five or seven minutes, that white rock star hits right about the same time as that 40 milligram Adderall XR hits. You feel like a fucking million bucks. And you're like, I'm back, baby. I'm back. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> Don't do it, people. Bad combo. But that Adderall and rock star combo. Pretty fucking great. I will say that. A&W root beer. Ooh, that's a good one. Root beer in general. But we'll talk about, um, how about mug root beer? Because there's a hierarchy to these things. The different flavors of root beer. My wife loves root beer. And uh, I think it's sick and wrong that she likes root beer so much because root beer is an abomination. I'm sorry, people, but it is. It's an abomination. And I feel like there's a hierarchy here from maybe like best to worst is like Barks, A&W, Mug, and then dads maybe might be at the very bottom. But root beer in general is awful. It's for children. It's one of these things. It's kind of like Megadeth. If you like root beer, you're either like five or 70. <laughs> There's no in between. Like, have you ever met someone who's like 34 whose first choice of soft drink is root beer? Never happened. It's never happened. I mean, I guess there was all those like craft root beers, right? Like... The ones that cost fucking $12 for a four pack. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just the regular old like off the shelf root beer. I also liked it when I was five, but that was a long time ago. Uh, root beer is gross. It's, it's gross. It's up there or down there, I should say, with Dr. Pepper. I'm putting it on the F tier. Disgusting. Cream soda is also disgusting. Um, I forget the brand of cream soda that I, well, I'll, I'll tell you what I like. Here's an obscure one. You're old if you recognize this. Does anybody recognize these things from like the fucking 80s? New York Seltzer. These things, it comes in a glass bottle with like a metal screw top. They started making it again. And uh, I gotta say, it's fucking, it's fucking good. Here's the thing with, with cream soda is like the first sip of it is amazing. The first sip when it's really crisp and cold and like it's and your taste buds haven't gotten adjusted to it yet you're like oh damn cream soda is great this vanilla soda is amazing but then by the time you get to like the third or fourth drink especially after it's warm then you're like oh this is this is gross but this new york seltzer kind in particular is the best one if you were a kid in the 80s this is what your grandparents would have in the fridge i can't say i would drink it now but i would put it above root beer now how about uh ginger ale 
Ginger ale. My wife also likes ginger ale. She has horrible taste. I don't know what is wrong with her. And there's a lot of different flavors. You know, you got your Seagram's, you got your Schweppes, you got your Canada Dry. But the worst one is uh, Werner's ginger ale. Um, the kind of thing, you know, when you're a kid, you're so excited for any kind of like sweets, right? Like any kind of candy, any kind of soda, cake, pie, ice cream, any of that, you're on board with it. But there's some kinds of sweets that are so gross that even when you're a kid, you won't tolerate it. Like you go over to your grandparents' house and they give you the fucking, um, those hard caramel candies or the little strawberries in like the foil wrapper or a candy corn. And you're like, ugh, ugh, grandma, no, I don't want candy corn. Yeah, Werther's Originals, that's what it is. You're like, grandma, no, I'd rather eat vegetables than candy corn. And your mom's like, no, you have to eat it. Don't make grandma mad. Black licorice, <laughs> yeah. Ginger ale, especially like the Werner's ginger ale is the soda equivalent of that. Like my mom would never buy soda when I was a kid because she was like a hippie and stuff. And I would be so excited if I would go over to one of my friend's houses that had soda. But even then, you know, if that ginger ale, I'm like, oh, no thanks. I'll just take tap water. I got to say ginger ale, if there was something lower than the F tier, I would put it that like, I would rather drink a combination of Dr. Pepper, Arrowhead water, and mug root beer than fucking Verner's. Ugh. Ugh. Let's talk about Fresca. Fresca is one of these, I, I would call this like a mom drink. Like when I was a kid, my friend Corey, his mom would drink this. I don't think they make this soda anymore, but they used to make this soda back in the day called Diet Right. She would drink that or um, Tab. I don't know if they make this anymore either, um, but she would drink these. Back when like Diet soft drinks were for women. They were marketed towards women. As you can see here, she would drink that. She also drank Fresca. I would go over there to Corey's house in like uh, eighth or ninth grade. So this would be like 1992. It was right when Street Fighter 2 came out for Super Nintendo. I would go over there and play um, Street Fighter with him. And uh, the only stuff that they had to drink was his mom's like weird diet sodas like Tab, Diet Right, and Fresca. So that's when I got my taste for Fresca. She would just sm chain smoke and drink Fresca all day. I liked her. She was cool. But shout out to Corey's mom for getting me into Fresca. I still like it. Not as good as Coke or even as good as Pepsi, but I, I like Fresca. I like it. Let's talk about this Topo Chico shit, okay? You know what white people love is wasting money on dumb shit. Okay, my wife talks about this all the time. As you guys probably know, my wife is uh, Vietnamese. Her family uh, are refugees from Vietnam. And they all talk about all the time how much white people love wasting money on dumb shit. Basically, every couple years, there's a new version of fucking mineral water that white people love to spend money on. And it's all gross. And it's all dumb. Maybe first it was Pellegrino, San Pellegrino. Then it was LaCroix. And now it's Topo Chico. This is the kind of stuff, like, I feel like if you want to fuck indie girls, you should have this stuff in your fridge. I feel like that's what would impress them. You know, like, do you want something to drink? I have uh, Rosé and Topo Chico. And they're like, oh, <laughs> put on some Modest Mouse and you might get lucky tonight. Yeah, I just, I mean, it's fine. But like, this shit's like four bucks. Like, imagine spending four bucks on this fucking water. It's fine, but like... I don't know. It's dumb. It's a waste of money. I'm putting it in the C tier. That's what I think. Oh, you know what we got to talk about? You know what we got to talk about is um, Squirt. Squirt is great. Very underrated. Now, you, you people probably... I said, I love drinking Squirt. And you're like, ooh, kinky. No, you weirdos. I don't mean the stuff like in your dirty movies, which by the way, there's no such thing as Squirt. It's pee. All the squirt in your f dirty movies is just pee. And if you want to drink pee, well, listen, you'd be my guest. But I'll be over here drinking a delicious, healthy diet squirt. Squirt, if you've never had it, it's a citrus soda. So I think it's like a combination of like lemon, lime, orange, and grapefruit, I think. And it's great. I love it. It's kind of hard to find, especially the diet squirt is really hard to find. I don't even know if they still make it, but uh, I think it's great. Also, speaking of the white rock star, squirt tastes a lot like the white rock star. 
I'm on board. I think it's S tier. Let's talk about some of the sad ones. Like, um, Big Red. This shit, like, I don't even know what it's supposed to taste like. I can't even have contempt for Big Red because it's just so sad. Yeah, it tastes like red. Exactly. It just tastes like red. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. But this is one of the ones where if you go over to your friend's house, like, let's say you have to do a school project with someone or whatever. You make a new friend when you're a kid and they have, like, Big Red. You're not even judging them or looking down on them. It's like you feel bad for them. You know, you're like, oh, man, uh, your family's down bad. All you guys have is Big Red. And you'll try to choke it down just because you don't want to be rude. Uh, but, man, that shit's rough. I wouldn't wish Big Red on anybody. Not on my worst enemy. <sighs> Got to put it on the F tier. And just uh, shout out to anybody that suffered um, through uh, Big Red as a, as a child. You have, you have my sympathy. You were strong. You were independent. If you made it through a childhood of Big Red and Mellow Yellow and Sierra Mist, you can survive anything. You survived Big Red. You can survive anything. You got this. Give me that hose water.